The centimetre grid shows the plan and the front elevation of a cylinder. Work out the volume of the cylinder and give your answer in terms of pi. OK, so let's just remind ourselves about what a cylinder looks like. So this is a bit like your tin of beans. OK, so this is your cylinder here. Tin of beans. OK, so we've got uh, this bit here, which is the top part of your tin. And then when it says front elevation, it means like what you see when you look at the front. So if you look at the front of a, if you look straight on on the tin of beans, you would actually only see a rectangle, uh, which is what this bit is here. OK, to find the volume of a cylinder, you need to do what's called the cross sectional area. And the cross section here is the the lid of the tin of beans or the circle here. This is your cross sectional area multiplied by the height of the cylinder. In other words, we need to work out the area of the top, the area of the circle, and then multiply it by the height. So you need to know the formula for the area of a circle. The area of a circle is pi multiplied by the radius squared or pi r squared. Now you might be thinking, well, I can't see a radius here. Well, you need to look really closely and see that this is the center here that I'm marking in blue. How do I know that? Well, I can see that there are three, exactly three squares here, exactly three squares there, and indeed going vertically and up and down as well, th exactly three squares there and exactly three squares there. So I know that that is my centre. Let's take those away just so you can see, see better now. So that is the centre, and that means that the radius is three centimetres and we're told it's on a centimetre grid so I can definitely say three centimetres there or three units. Um, so the radius is three. Now it tells us to give our answer in terms of pi and of course because it's not a calculated paper we, we can't get an exact value here um, but the area is pi multiplied by that radius squared. Now that radius squared would be three squared. So three squared is nine so pi multiplied by nine. Writing this differently, well, not very differently, I'm just gonna sort them around and say nine pi. Scroll down ever so slightly there. Nine pi, because remember when two things are squashed together in algebra, it means there's a time sign between them. And I'm just, um, changing around the order of, of the number and the uh, and the pi symbol just because that's how, that's just convention in terms of algebra you put your number first so nine pi so the area of this top the cross section cross sectional area is nine pi just a, qu a quick note on cross section what cross section means is if you cut this anywhere along here if you cut the tin of beans anywhere going in that direction it's always a circle it's always um, a circle wherever you cut it in other words that is the shape that is the cross section all the way through that shape all the way through that cylinder so we've got our cross sectional area our cross sectional area is nine pi and now i need to multiply it by the heights the height of the cylinder well the height of the cylinder is the number of squares here the number of squares here is five so I'm doing, I'm now going to change to volume because the volume is the cross-sectional area, which I got from a minute ago here. That's my cross-sectional area. And I'm multiplying it now by the height, which is five. And what I can do here now is multiply these two numbers. And nine fives are 45. So my final answer is 45 pi centimeters cubed.
and there you have it.